buying that first home may be within reach if you know the right pathway to a mortgage. It's off to college for many of our kids, and life in a dorm room presents its challenges. We get storage and organization tips from an expert. Don't let algae put a damper on your summer fun. We'll show you what you can do to restore it to a sparkling clean. Searching for a new apartment can be frustrating, especially when you're in a hurry. We've got just the answer for your apartment honey needs. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We are Designing Spaces. If you have a child going off to college, you're probably having mixed emotions. You're excited for them, but it's hard to see them go. Going away to school is an important rite of passage. There's the campus life, classes, and don't forget about the dorms. And you want to send them off with the right supplies, but we all know storage space in a dorm room is a precious commodity. Well, we have you covered here today on Designing Spaces as we continue our series that puts everything in its place. And to help us do that is Jane with Trinity International, an eco-friendly storage and organization company with products to make our lives easier and less cluttered. Jane, welcome back to Designing Spaces. I'm so glad to be back. You know, we're talking about organizing the smallest space we can think about, a dorm room. Yes. So you have lots of ideas for us today. I sure do. Okay. And the challenge with the smallest place possible is that they cram as many people in there as they can. Yeah, this is true. So you're sharing with at least one person, maybe right. two right. or so you, three. You really need to use that space wisely. Yes. Okay. And they don't provide much when it comes to storage. No. You walk in, there's a bed. Exactly. <laughs> and you have a desk, right. a small closet, and a dresser, and that's really about it. Right. So you've got to bring your own solutions. And you are bringing those solutions to us today as we see a couple options. So yes. for our families watching, what would be the first thing you would suggest to them? I would suggest the bronze slat rack. Okay. On these shelves, there are slats that are wider than on our shelving racks mm -hmm. so that not as much stuff can fall through. Okay. So that's great for putting your jewelry, for your books, your clothing. We've got the collapsible crates, which are so easy to assemble. And these crates can hold 15 t-shirts wow. each. Look how easy that is. I love that. And it's got a lid so that your shirts won't get dusty. And it folds flat if you're not using it. Exactly. And I like all the options you show here. You can have your printer or different things and even hang your backpack off of it. So yes. it's, it's multi-use. Yes. Each shelf on this one and that rack can hold up to 350 pounds, oh, wow. which is about 30 books. Okay, so now this is different because I noticed this has, has like smaller wires, but yes. you have a, a cover on here. Yes, so our bronze shelving racks have liners that you can put on them so that you can put things like a lamp on the top, picture frames picture to frames. remind you of home. Smaller things that won't fall through now because yes. the liners. Yes, precisely. That's perfect. And we've got these drawers with the covers, which are 100% cotton and are fully washable. So in case it gets dirty, your toiletries spill out, Right. you can wash it with your laundry. And I like that you said you can add so much weight, so you can put your books on here and not have to worry about it. That's right. Okay. Now, when we're talking about clothes, college students may do their laundry at school, but for the most part, they take it home. But you have options for that. We do. We've got two different laundry sorters. Okay. One is a two-bag sorter, and this is a three-bag sorter, which comes with casters so they can roll it down to the laundry room. That's handy. And That's the bags are very easily removable, and they're washable, so they could throw it in with their laundry. See, this is what I see happening. Okay, got my laundry. Let's go to mom and dad's now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and this, actually, you can wash, right? Yes, just okay. take, the, take the wires out. Well, mom and dad will wash that for you. But. <laughs> <laughs> but you have lots of options for them. Yes. Okay, so any other advice for families watching and they're trying to make this transition? I would suggest since it's such a big step to go to college and it's likely your child's first time away from home, yeah. that you go with your child to help them get organized and to put everything in its place. Yeah, check out the space, give some advice, right? Yes. And that way it's easier to shop together. Yes, and all of our items come flat packed so that they're really easy to assemble. Mm -hmm. And as you've already seen- They're very easy. Very easy. Yeah. And the reverse is true, you can take it apart just as easily to move home at the end of the school year. Perfect. And okay. because our stuff lasts so long, you can use it through your entire studies. Right, yeah, you just take it with you as you go. And if you happen to get to school and discover that this isn't enough, you can always go to Costco, Home Depot, Overstock, or Wayfair, for example, mm -hmm. and order or buy our products there. And you can even go to Amazon and through Prime Shipping, get it for two days, get it and in two days. you also can go to your website. 
That's right. right. TrinityII.com. Yeah. So we, you have us covered. Whether we want to go there in person, look online, you know you can always buy your products. Yes. And there's, this is just a sample of all that you offer. Yes, a small sample. Okay. Well, thank you so much. You're helping to make this transition in a lot of families' lives just a little bit easier. So Hopefully. thank you so much. And next time you come back, we're going to tackle that one room that I think is impossible, but I know you can handle it. The garage. Dun, dun, dun. Yes. And we're going to organize that, right? Yes, we are. All right. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, if you've missed anything of what we've covered here today, please head over to our website at designingspaces.tv. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you soon. Making a space you can call home. Living the lifestyle you desire. It's what we are all about. We are Designing Spaces. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.